What's going on guys, this your casual gamer and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a emulator launcher on your Android phone or tablet called LaunchBox. This program is free to use and will help organize and consolidate all of your emulators and ROMs into one place. And it really makes your collection of games look great, giving you box art and background art for every game. Also, this is really important, make sure that all of your emulators are downloaded and set up on your Android device before using this program, as well as make sure you have all of your ROMs in a special folder on your device or multiple folders on your device, your choice. Now let's get into it. Okay, on your phone, let's go ahead and head on over to launchboxapp.com. The link to this page is in the description below. Once you are here, in the top right, click on the three lines, scroll down, hit download, and launchbox for Android. Now right here where it says enter your email address, go ahead and enter your email address and then hit download now and a link to download LaunchBox will be sent to your email. So this is what the email will look like, and once you are here, you wanna click on this link here. It's gonna say the file might be harmful, but you have nothing to worry about, download anyway. File downloaded, open. Do you want to install this app? Install. Hit OK to allow access to all files. Go ahead and allow permission, then go back. Welcome to LaunchBox, OK. Now let's upload some ROMs into LaunchBox. In the top left, click on the three lines, go to Import Games, and Folder of Games to Import. Now my phone doesn't have an SD slot, so I only have my main storage. But if the device you are using has an SD slot, then you will see two different options here. Just select where your ROMs are located. Then you wanna scroll through and find your folder containing your games. And I'll upload my GameCube games. Select this folder. Next, we're going down to platform for imported games. And in my case, I'm going to find Nintendo GameCube since those are GameCube ROMs I just uploaded right here. Region to prioritize. I'm going to leave it on North America. Leave on combined ROMs with matching titles into a single game. Everything else here, we're going to leave off. But if you are uploading main ROMs, then you want to turn on use main metadata. We are done here. Now we're going to hit proceed with import. Now it's gonna scan that folder and find all of my games. There we are, proceed. The process is complete, okay. Now we have a new section here on our home screen called consoles. Let's go ahead and open that. Now every time you upload ROMs for a new console, that console will appear here. Right now, we only have GameCube. Now if you have a lot of ROMs you just uploaded for a particular console, you can search through those ROMs using these categories that they give you. In this case, action, beat em up, platform, sandbox, and sports. Or you can just click on all games to see all of the ROMs you uploaded. So if I click on all games, you will see my games in here with cover art. And if you want to change this interface, then go up to the top right, click on the three dots and hit change view. So we have basic text list, boxes grid, text list with details, text list with two column details. And my favorite one, the one we started off with, wheel with details. Now I'm going to upload some ROMs for one more console. So let's go back up to the top left, click on the three lines, import games, folder of games to import, select my storage, and I'm going to upload PlayStation 2 games. Select this folder. 
platform for imported games, Sony PlayStation 2, and proceed with import. Now if we go back to consoles, you see we have PlayStation 2 in here now as well. Okay, now we can go ahead and load up one of these games. I'll do Mega Man X8. Just click on the game and hit play. Now it's gonna tell you that you need to configure an emulator before launching the game, okay? So where it says default emulator, LaunchBox will automatically detect an emulator on your phone that can run the ROM that you're trying to play. In this case, it's Aether SX2. But say you have multiple emulators on your phone that can run the ROM that you're trying to play. Then click on default emulator and you will be able to select another emulator. But I'm sticking with Aether SX2 because it's already set up and installed on my phone. And to check and make sure that emulator is set up and ready to go on your phone, you could tap on verify configuration and it says success confirmed that Aether SX2 is installed and ready to be launched. So now you wanna go back and we're gonna click on that game again. And this time when we hit play, the game will load up, but first you have to choose allow launch box to send you notifications. This is up to you. I'm gonna select allow. And to show you that the GameCube emulator is working, we're going to load up a GameCube game as well. Now this is the first time we're loading up a GameCube game, so we have to set up the Dolphin emulator as well. So over to the right, click on the three little dots, scroll down, and tap Emulator Settings. For the default emulator, we do not want to use the Dolphin MMJR emulator. They have that as the default. Instead, we want to click on the one that just says Dolphin. Let's verify configuration. Success. Okay. Now let's go back. Now we can load up SSX3. Play. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.